Hi, I'm Niels Posega and today I'm going to continue the video series for the new drill down concept in Smart Analytics. In the first video I have introduced the concept and the basic functions of the new drill down workspace. Now I will show some hands on experience for a voice drill down. The data we are looking at is from our campaign in Dallas, US from beginning of the year. First I move Smart Analytics into full screen mode to use the maximum space available on my screen. And I have loaded the full data set of the Dallas campaign. And in order to do the drill down, I need to narrow down to the problematic areas I would like to analyze. And a good starting point for this is the network performance score. The overall results showing T-Mobile in the lead with the highest score, while the breakdown to voice and data is showing a clear lead for data for T-Mobile, but for voice T-Mobile is falling a bit behind the competition. We need to admit that the voice results for all operators are on a very high level. Still there is some room for improvement for T-Mobile and this is what I would like to look at now. Checking the contributing voice KPIs, I can see that the call drop ratio and the call setup success ratio for T-Mobile is on the last place. So. I can assume that some failed and dropped calls are in the game here and this I would like to analyze. And uh, the way to proceed for failed and drops usually is root cause analysis. So I further want to narrow down my data set to um, T-Mobile failed and dropped calls. So in the level one voice workspace in the overview I can see that the majority of the calls are voltic calls. So I'm going to restrict my data set to Volta calls and as I would like to analyze T-Mobile, I can also filter to T-Mobile. In order to get my failed and drop calls, I can use the um, call status to filter exactly these calls I would like to analyze. When I hold down the shift key while selecting these two items, Smart Analytics gives me a filter containing call status dropped and failed calls. Now I have 23 calls in my data set and this is narrowed down enough to move down to the drill down. And uh, this can easily be done in Smart Analytics by applying the level 2 drill down button. So now Smart Analytics is moving from level 1 voice to level 2 UE drill down analysis. So I'm in, in my new drill down workspace. As I'm going to stay here for the rest of the video, I can uh, decrease now the um, navigation panel to further save some disk space. In the last video, uh, I explained the concept of the workspace with the purple data selection part, uh, which has the main goal of reducing the list of ses sessions and tests for my current drill down analysis type analysis tasks, which is checking T-Mobile failed and dropped calls. With my uh, uh, data reduction activity from level 1, which we have taken over with the filters to level 2, I'm already done with the data selection and I can move on to the analysis part, which is presented here in green. In order to do so, I can cl double click on a session and Smart Analytics will move to the analysis area, which is now content sensitive to the uh, selected session or test. I selected the session in this case because we have a failed call and the failed call uh, per definition does not include any tests as no speech transmission happens. So now I have the necessary analysis tabs for voice and the related technology. And also Smart Analytics detects that scanner measurements have been conducted with, uh, along with the uh, UE tests and also presenting this here. The time focus, um, uh, also according to the concept, is now set to this very session. Okay, let's look to the info tab and the system trace log we can see that we have 
a failed call call fails at this time and we also can see that there are some zip invite errors so problems in the uh, uh, zip so this is something which we definitely should look at and um, I would like to start with at the point where the uh, call is initiated so uh, for a failed call it does not look uh, make sense to look at IMS call and speech quality as these tabs are related to a uh, successful established uh, a call with ongoing uh, a speech transmission which we don't have in this uh, in this case so I'm going to check the radio in order to understand why the call is not established As I'm analyzing this session, I can also now remove the uh, test and session panel. This saves me some additional screen space and I can fully concentrate on my analysis. So, checking um, the radio, we can see that uh, at the beginning of the call, we have uh, quite bad radio signal and uh, which recovers after a handover to uh, quite acceptable or let's say even good radio we're talking about uh, minus 80 dBm and also we can see that the quality uh, at the end of the call is good before this handover it has been on uh, on on a low level, further decreasing until the UE triggers the handover. So this is some indication saying, okay, at the beginning we had bad uh, signal strengths and also not the best signal quality. This can be an indication for uh, uh, for our for our problem. But let's check the uh, uh, signaling, the layer three signaling, and especially the SIP and um, look what happens during this call. So we have the U is triggering um, the SIP invite and the network is processing this session in progress and shortly afterwards we get uh, two times the SIP invite service unavailable message. So this is um, a release course triggered in downlink by the network. This indicates uh, that we have a core issue here, uh, potentially um, triggered by uh, by the the handover that happened. But definitely uh, at this point, the the core network is not ready to take the call. Let's shortly check the B side. what happens here session in progress and here we also get in downlink a SIP cancel request with the core SIP service unavailable so here we can be sure that uh, it's really the network uh, sending both involved parties uh, the uh, cancel request with service unavailable which proves that this uh, session need to be classified as a core network issue. I hope you liked the video and it was useful and stay tuned for the next video which will include some hands-on for data drill down.